www.pondscape.us, a funny little development here. We're using a piece of the old original liner from Frickin' Home Depot when we first did this thing in 2005 before we switched to the lake liner. We're just using a piece of that to, to make up for the, the pieces that we're missing here. So we don't have enough to go all the way across. So a little bit of a tar roofing replacement. We're using the old ass... Uh, piece of liner that we had in here to begin with, the one that leaked, which is why I found Ben Tarp in the first place. Yeah, be my guest. Be my guest. Be my guest. Da, 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 da. And here we have it. Oh yeah, we can make this go from one side to the other here. A nice... Uh... And you got it. Yeah, that worked. Well, let's... Uh... We need to, uh, no, you don't want to roll that down. You're leaving the overlap up here. What are you doing? Oh, you just cut it off? No, just leave it overlap. So yeah. we'll cut off the slack later. Later. Yeah. We're still gonna, we're gonna have to cut off some of that liner. What we need to do yeah, is get that piece to roll in there better. Actually, no. hold on. Dave, we're gonna need this to lay down better. Now it's folding up over there too, that's no good. Just well, that's fine. It's not going to be that much pressure. Yeah, well, when we put in the liner, we can make sure that's completely flat before that before we drop it in. You can't. You're going to have to drop the liner in and get up behind it somehow. And then push the liner against it to push it down. Yeah, I'll do it. But after we drop the liner in, all I got to do is go up on that side, flip that over so I got access, go down in there, push down the one side, then let the liner drop on, the, on that yeah, side, that push down, down the other, and then it's drop that down. Well, no, it's not going to be easy. I'm just saying I can do it. <laughs> it's going to be a bitch, but I can do it. www.bitchscape, I mean, pondscape.us.